lunch and each day is a gift. To give the first fruit of the day to the Lord is one of the most valuable ways to show our love to God. With these words in the mind, let us invoke the God's blessings on all of us who are in vacation song. Now I call Ms. Manasvi, first year BSc nursing student, to grace this occasion with invocation. <laughs> Good morning to each and everyone present today. A beautiful smile is the best universal welcome. It can make the day a good day easily. It gives me an immense pleasure to start this auspicious occasion by heartily welcoming everybody on behalf of Harvey College of I, Mr. Chetan Kumar Himar, Associate Professor, take this privilege to be welcoming each and every one of this program. At the outset, first I would like to welcome Sri P.S. Vintage Babu, Trustee, Chairman, Governing Council Member of Harvey College of Nursing, Bengaluru, the Chief Guest of today's day. We are extremely delighted to have such an eminent and dynamic personality among us today as speakers. On behalf of Harvey College of Nursing, we welcome Mr. Gurwar. Welcome to Dr. Esra Jajendra Singh, Principal, Harvey College of Nursing, for his enthusiastic support, motivation, encouragement, and guidance in organizing the program. On behalf of Harvey College of Nursing, we welcome Mr. To all the employees of various departments, faculty and non-teaching staff of Articles of Nursing for taking efforts in guiding us throughout in organizing the event. We welcome you all. Lastly, my heartfelt and warm welcome to all the students of Articles of Nursing for their presence and joining us for this event. Welcome you all once again. Have a good day. Thank you all. Most auspicious part of today's event that was hosting our national flag. I would like to request our chief guest CPS Venkatesh Babu, Trustee and Chairman, Governing Council, RBCN, along with the dignitaries to host our national flag and further commands will be given by Mr. Kevin Roshan Resosa, the first year BSc student. Over to you, Kevin. To be inspired is great, but to be an inspiration is an honor. We are very delighted to have an eminent and intellectual personality in person, Shri P.S. Venkatesh Babusu, Trustee and Chairman, Gauni Council, RBCN Ministers. It's my great privilege to welcome our guests of the day to enlighten our students with your valuable message. Good morning to all the students. Good morning, sir. I'm not a good speaker. Please bear with me because I don't have practice of speaking. First, I'd like to do pronounce to my founder of this great institution, Sivanan Sharma, who founded in a small way and now we are RV is the one that is grown in a very big way. I do my pronounce to him. Dear Principal Sir, Jajit Singh, sir, all the staff members, all the students. Today we are celebrating our beautiful day. I like to tell one thing to you. You are all lucky. You are in a because 
Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your valuable thoughts and explaining the real view and enriching our students with your valuable message. Thank you so much, sir. The best leaders not only inspire us but develop and empower us to lead with passion. I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. S. R. Rajendra Singh, sir, Principal R. B. C. N. to deliver the presidential address to the gathering. Good morning, one and all. And before I get into my Speech. I would like to reciprocate with uh, today's wishes. Wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Thank you. Thank you. So today is the 26th January of 2022. 
here we are gathered for the celebration of the 73rd Republic Day. First and foremost, I would like to say my pranam and welcome to our Governing Council Chairman, C. P. S. Venkatesh Babu sir and my dear faculty members, students and all RSSC trustees and office bearers. We have enjoyed the Republican government of India for 72 years and we have stepped into the 73rd. As and when we look back to the Indian history, there were a lot of lives dedicated for having independent India with the freedom struggle. Even after getting freedom, having liberty, that is independence, we did not have a sovereign constitution. That is the rule in what way we need to go ahead for the administration. So today we have to say thanks for all the people, those who are involved in sculpturing the Indian constitution. You know the Indian constitution is the biggest, largest and the famous constitution in the world with very less amendments and corrections in the world. Of course, we may have more than 120 amendments after the enforcement of our Indian constitution. When we look into the other sovereign countries, they have brought more changes and they have reshuffled and uh, winded up in other countries. But all Indian civilians and Republicans have accepted wholeheartedly our constitution for 73rd year. And we need to congratulate, say thanks and uh, express our gratitude to those honorary people behind, uh, 100 people behind uh, sculpturing, uh, sculpture, uh, sculpturing our Indian constitution. And you know very well, father of uh, the constitution, Sri D.R. Ambedkarji, and also we need to say our <coughs> incredible thanks to Dr. Rajendra Prasad and so many. And I think uh, November 26th, uh, last year we have celebrated the Constitution Day. And I and we have proclaimed uh, the preamble of uh, Indian Constitution. Here, few things we need to understand. Being Indian, Republican of uh, India, equality is a major component in our Indian constitution. Eliminating the discrimination of uh, genders like male, female, then income disparity, poor, rich, black, white, and uh, discriminating in terms of religion must not be there. We have to stand as an Indian. That is what we say. All are one. Though we have different culture, different uh, vivid culture we have, we have to have a uh, good unity and integrity that takes our nation to the pinnacle. That's what we need in the current days. And we need not to have any kind of triple and you need to bring the same words to the future progeny. That's very important. And also independence and liberty. Liberty is also a very important thing 
what you wanted to do, you have to do it within the purview and framework of the Constitution. Here, Constitution tells us do's and don'ts. As a civilian, civilian of uh, Republic India, what you are supposed to do and what you should not, shall not do. That's what all of you may not be able to go through such a big volume of constitution. Nowadays it's available, 50 pages uh, constitution booklet is available. All of you need to go through that. Unless and until you cannot say that you are a proud civilian of India, Republic civilian of India. So that's my request. And we need to have a good number of constitution books in our library. So all of you should be aware. If you are not aware, you will be deprived from your rights, fundamental rights. If you would like to know what are all your fundamental rights, you need to digest page by page the Indian constitution. That's most essential. And also, during this pandemic, uh, you have seen so many have died, so many have become orphan children. Is it right? In such a worst pandemic scenario, healthcare manpower has taken its utmost drive to save public life of India as well as uh, abroad. And I would like to say thanks for all healthcare workers on this day to save lives from Corona. And also in our daily life, we need to adopt a service attitude towards mankind and never forget about the, the patriarchy. It should come from your each and every cell. We are Indian. You must feel yourself proud to be an Indian. That has to from from each and every blood cells, then we can bring up the nation. Once again, wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Thank you. Thank you for your enlightening words and your inspiring words. The most beautiful way to start and end the day is with a grateful heart. Here we come to the concluding part of our patriotic function of Republic Day celebration. Vote of thanks. I now request Ms. Anita Rani Leal Tutor. Medical Surgical Nursing Department to set the food to propose vote of thanks. It's not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. A very good morning to one another present here. I think it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this event. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for making the program a resounding accomplishment. It is my utmost honor to thank Sri P. S. Venkatesh Babu, Chief Trustee and Chairman, Government Policy, Abbey College of Nursing who consented to be the chief guest of today's event and for gracing the occasion despite of his busy schedule. I wholeheartedly thank you, sir. I request our principal, Dr. Esther Katrin sir, to honor our chief guest with a token of love and gratitude.